Yo, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe and I am back, finally. Well, I never left, but this is my last day of tests. Then I'm officially on winter break, which is awesome. For one, just not having to go to class and do homework and stuff like that. But two, because I can put up more videos and put up more time into my videos. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. But anyways, today we're going to be covering what I think is the best equipment in the game. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me. And that's fine. 98% of people would probably say that the Black Hat PDA is the best. And no doubt, it is very good. Comes in handy a lot. But I personally have to say that the EMP grenade is overall more useful. And that's how I determine what is the best. What I select when creating my class. Because you only get 10 points to spend. So you want to make sure that you're going to be utilizing them on a consistent basis because if you don't then you're just wasting a point. The Black Hat and the EMP do a lot of the same things however just in different ways and using different mechanics. Obviously one is thrown and one is in like iPhone knockoff but personally I find the way the EMP works is much more effective and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video how it works and what it can do. Now the first thing you need to know about the EMP grenade is the blast radius penetrates walls, ceilings, floors, pretty much anything. Barriers do not affect the grenade's explosive effectiveness, meaning if someone or something is on the other side of a wall, they'll still be hit by the EMP blast. So if someone is camping in a room with a couple beddies and shock charges, you don't even have to get the grenade in through the door to destroy all of them as well as disrupt the enemy's HUD. This also applies to sentry guns and guardians. Often players set them both up protecting two different doors. I'm sure you have all seen this before, but instead of calling the game gay and threatening David Von Har, simply throw one EMP in the general direction and it will destroy both of them. Whether it's thrown at a wall, a ceiling, or a floor, any and all electronics will be destroyed. Another thing that I've noticed is that the radius is near infinite when it comes to vertical distance, meaning something that is flying in the air. So for instance, I already covered the Hunter Killer drone and how to take that out, but I think taking out a dragon fire is even more impressive. Here the dragon fire is at a peak altitude, meaning as high as it can go, yet if you toss an EMP on the ground somewhat below its general area, it takes it out instantly. Now this is the craziest one, and I'm not sure how many people know this, but the EMP grenade can even take out Hellstorm missiles, yes. You heard me right, Hellstorm missiles, but it's pretty hard to do, the timing has to be perfect, however if you do pull it off, it is pretty awesome, it feels pretty good, and it confuses the shit out of the enemy player that used it. Lastly, a while back I suggested in a video to rock scavenger and stun grenades in hardpoint when leveling up, and I still do, you get a ton of points, but because the MP grenade penetrates walls, it gets you easily three times as many points that the stun grenades do. Objective game modes are the best for this, but if you just keep tossing the MP grenades all over the map, you will be destroying equipment and be picking up EMP assists like crazy, and the best part is that you get 50 points for an EMP assist, that's how much a kill is worth in kill confirmed, so just keep all this in mind when creating certain classes, it is most effective in more rushing classes, SMG classes, and I actually use it a lot. All of these people made videos about how the black hat destroys all this stuff, but I guarantee you 99% of them don't even use it in their loadouts. So there it is guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please take the time to leave it a rating. It's not even about trying to get into the suggested videos, I'm just trying to get my own subscribers to see that I uploaded it. But whatever, even with everyone's views dropping, I'll keep uploading. I haven't made a dime, so there is no need for me to even complain. But anyways, if you missed my videos from yesterday, go check them out. Two of them were actually really funny, and I also uploaded a promo for a new series. So if you want me to continue it, go show that some love. But after I catch up on some sleep, my upload schedule should be back to normal. And I really do hope you guys are enjoying these videos because that is the only thing motivating me to continue making them. Honestly, I get nothing else from this YouTube thing other than fun and uh, you guys support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I extremely appreciate it. But before I start crying, this is Uncle Kobe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.